Hey guys, it's Brett, your independent sensing consultant. I'm here with my warm reviews of the Holiday Trio from the Holiday Collection and the Four Bars from the Sense of the Season Collection. So the Holiday Trio from the Holiday Collection, it is available now. It was for sale October 1st, so it's been on sale for a few weeks. And the Sense of the Season Collection doesn't come out until November 1st, so it's just about out. So I thought I would, I would do my warm reviews to let you know about these and give you my thoughts on them and see if you might want to purchase them based on your set preferences and my experience and all that stuff. But everybody's noses are different as always. This is just my interpretation of how I, my experience was with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the Holiday Trio. So these are available for, it's a three pack of three different ones. You can get them for $17 for the pack of three. You're not able to get them individually, but you can get them in just the three pack. So first up we have Cranberry Orange Cider. And the notes on this are tart orange and cranberry and apple mold with cinnamon sticks. So I like this one quite a bit. This was so good, so good. If you love like cider type of scents, I think you'd like this. At first, when I smelled it, I kind of thought I was getting like cedar, uh, cider mill, not cedar, cider mill vibes from it. Cause I definitely get the apple on here and I get the kind of the cider stuff, but it's more than that. But you definitely get that cranberry in there. And then when you warm it, I feel like that comes out even more, that cranberry and a little bit of that orange. I don't feel like it's, uh, it's not super super orange. It's just it's like kind of like a uh, Like a dark orange. It's not a real real bright orange to me It's like a It's not it's a little bright, but not too too bright It's slightly bright, but it's it's mixed with that cranberry. So it kind of comes off kind of like a winter Kind of a feel but I definitely get the apple and then the mold spices with the cinnamon sticks and all that stuff But it's not a lot of cinnamon either I feel like this kind of could go for fall or for winter. To me, it's very appropriate. It's fine for fall because I have this going and it's fall and it was fine. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, this just feels like winter in here. I think because it has so much of the apple and it's got the cider spices, the orange could even be a little bit, you know, kind of like a cider for like the fall. But I think what would make it more wintry is that cinnamon sticks and the cranberry. So I get the cranberry, but the the cinnamon sticks isn't super, super strong. So I think that's why it wasn't like really, really Christmassy. Because I feel like if, if the cinnamon was a little bit stronger in here, it would really came off more like a winter scent to me. I know Bath & Body Works has their cinnamon... I think it's cinnamon cider they had out. I don't think they have it out this year, but they did last year and I think the year before. I love that one, but that one was really heavy on the cinnamon and it really seemed like a like a Christmas type of scent. This can is in there, so it does can be for winter or for fall, I feel like. Or maybe like a good transition into late fall into early winter. Yeah, but I think it's either or. Kind of like wild for fall from the Harvest collection. A lot of people thought that was winter because it was kind of like Christmas tree. I thought it was either. I thought it could be for fall or for winter. I kind of feel the same way about this. I feel like it's appropriate for fall and for winter. Either or, but I, it's really nice. It's just so good. Yeah, really nice. And this was strong. Um, I'd probably say a nice strong medium in this, if not like a high throw on this for me. Did really well, filled up my open concept really nicely. Lasted for like a day to a day and a half. So yeah, I was really pleased with this. And then I also had the pods and I had the pods in my car, my Sensi Go. Did really well, kept smelling in there, so, so good. Yeah, so I highly recommend that one, it's really good. I like that one and I would get that one again. And then we have Maple Vanilla Glaze is next. And this is Buttered Caramel, Dark Maple, and Caramelized Sugar. This one was really good too. I really like this holiday trio. God, this scent's so good. So yeah, you get this one, I feel like out of all the maple scents they've had out lately, I feel like this is the one that's been the most mapley. I can smell the most maple on this one, even though 
It's not overly maple, but it's the most maple out of a lot of the maple ones I've had out lately to me. Oh uh, yeah, the maple, caramel, butter caramel, I do get the butteriness, but it's not like overly caramely, but the, it is in there though. Yeah, and then that caramelized sugar, you really get that sweetness, the caramelization and everything in there. Oh, it's really nice. So this I had going, I tried it in an open concept and it was, um, I liked it, but it was, it was strong at first and then it kind of died down a little bit. Like after like an hour or two, it kind of got lighter. It didn't go away completely, but it just got lighter. It like was really good at first and then it kind of lost its intensity a little bit, intensity a little bit. And then I thought, let me try it in the bedroom because a lot of people have been raving about this saying it's so strong and they love it, which I loved it. But I felt like it just, it got, it died down a little bit kind of quick. So I tried it in the bedroom. It did the same thing. After about, it was so good right at first, like really strong. And then about a couple of hours or so, it just kind of, it, it was like a strong medium to down like a, to like a light medium, I would say. You could definitely still smell it and I still loved it, but I feel like it just it dropped a little bit in the strength and the throw. So I wish it would have just been that when you first put it in, it's like completely amazing. Kind of like my maraschino sugar cookie. I had the same experience with that. It was so good and strong, but after a couple of hours, it just, it went down to a lower medium, to like a light medium. From, it went from a strong medium to almost high to like a light medium. Definitely could still smell though, and I definitely still loved it. I just wish it would have stayed at that strong medium to like almost high a little bit longer. But yeah, I still loved it, really, really good. And I have this in the pods as well, and the pods are amazing, like amazing. It's even better in the pods, I feel like. For some reason in the pods, it just, every single note comes out, and I get like total breakfast vibes in the pods for some reason. Like I was in my car on the way to work, and I was just like, I'm getting total breakfast. I get maple, I got, I was getting like maple pancakes, I was thinking, I got, little bit of like maple uh, sausage, like maple sausage. And then I had like, I was getting coffee too. Like now I smell it, I don't really get coffee, but for some reason it would, in the car, it was just, I was getting like everything. I was getting like all kinds of breakfast foods with this for some reason, it was just like breakfast galore in my car. And I loved it, it was amazing. So good. And then later that day after work, I went to McDonald's because we were trying to get all three of the, the boo buckets. So they had one last, the orange one. And I went to go get it and I had it in my car afterwards and this was going and then I had the Happy Meal going. So it was like maple and then food and it just, but it really smelled good though. It, it, it smelled good. That sounds really weird to have Happy Meal with maple stuff going on, but I don't know, it worked. It just smelled like maple food or something. So good. So yeah, I highly recommend the scent pods. I absolutely love this one. I loved it too as well. I just feel like, like I said, it was strong and then it just, it got a little bit lighter faster than I would have. I would have liked it to stay stronger, a little bit longer than what it did, but still really good. And I still would recommend it and I would repurchase that again because it was such an amazing scent. All right, and then lastly we have Swirling Snowflakes in the Holiday Collection. This is Sparkling Peppermint Fresh Air and Eucalyptus Flower. And I love this one. I, God, there's also good though, but I, I think this was my favorite. I love this one so much. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good peppermint. And then that eucalyptus, that eucalyptus flower is in there, but it's not like, I don't get a real strong eucalyptus scent. It's just, it's got a, like a winter floral vibe in there with a little bit of eucalyptus, but I really get kind of a winter florally vibe with cool peppermint air. Ah, oh, such a cool, icy, like m cool, minty peppermint winter air, winter floral type of scent. So good, I had it in the bedroom. Was filling the bedroom so well. It was coming out here into the living room. I could smell it out here on the couch and it was going way back in the bedroom. So good. And it lasted for about two days on this one. It lingered into the next day. By the end of the second day, it kind of died down quite a bit. That was almost done by the end of the second day. This one here kind of reminds me of, I said in my first impressions, it reminds me a little bit of vanilla, frosted vanilla. I had it right here, so I was gonna compare here. Yeah, it's, this is, they're both so wintery like, this has got, frosted vanilla's got the mintiness too, even though that's not in the notes, I think it's just vanilla and uh, birch bark, I think. But you definitely get the birch bark, but it's got a cool mintiness in there too. 
with that vanilla. This is, yeah, but this is more peppermint. This is more just vanilla, but it's got a mintiness in there, but not necessarily peppermint, but just like a cool mintiness. This has definitely got peppermint in the swirling uh, snowflakes. And that eucalyptus flower, I don't get so much of a, a winter floral in this one, just vanilla, birch bark, but that cool winter, that cool mintiness is in there. This is in here as well. And then I have Velvet Moon as well, which this one I think had vanilla and then um, uh, eucalyptus flower, I think, or vanilla floral, something like that. Vanilla flower, something. Yeah. Okay. This one's got like a mintiness too, but it's got that winter floral. This has the winter floral, but I feel like the frosted vanilla is a little more minty and wintry coolness. Yeah, but this has got the eucalyptus flower that this had in it too. That floral or that vanilla floral, winter floral kind of whatever. They're all they're all kind of similar though. They all have similar similar vibes to them, and I love them all. I love all three of these. They're so good. I love this type of scent, and I loved it. Would repurchase this, and I would recommend it. I love that one. That one might be going in the club. And the maple vanilla glaze. I don't know. I'm. I would love to put that pod in my club, and I don't. They have some pods for clubs, but I don't think they have all of them. Like, I don't think the Maple Vanilla Glaze pod would be available for the club. I think it's only select pods, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I would 100% recommend this Holiday Trio collection. And I think I might have to give me another set because they're also really good. I think, personally, I think I like these three better than I liked the Holiday, or the Harvest Trio. I think I did, because all three of those are just so good. All right, and then we have the Sense of the Season collection. So first up, let's see, we'll talk about this. Blue Christmas, right here. Orange peels, cloves, fur needles, and cinnamon sticks. Yeah, this one was really good. Ouch, hit my nose. So good. So this one, I definitely get the fur needles. It's definitely a Christmas tree scent, but you do get the orange, but you also get that cinnamon, the cinnamon and orange. Yes, and the, the uh, clothes. So, uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit along the lines of Wild for Fall from the Harvest Collection. That had Satsuma Mandarin and then like Pine Fur Needles or whatever it was. So this has got that orange in there, but I feel like that was more orangey citrusy than this is. But this does have that orange in there. It's not quite as much. It's not quite as citrusy, citrusy as that one was. But then this one has that clove and cinnamon in there. As Wild for Fall did not have clove and cinnamon at all. It was just the Satsuma Mandarin citrus note with that fur note. This has got that clove and with the fur note, but not as strong. And But then it's got that added cinnamon and cloves that really makes it a, a lot more wintry. I really like that mixture of that cinnamon and cloves in there. It's not super, super cinnamony. I feel like I smell it more in cold. When I warmed it, I feel like it wasn't quite as much cinnamon, but it was still in there. But it was good. It was so good. I feel like the tree note comes out just a little bit more. I feel like that fur needle comes out a little bit more when it melts. And then that cinnamon kind of calms down a little bit. But it's so good. I had, I only had three cubes going in the bedroom. I had one cube in my two 25 watt warmers and then I had one cube in my, uh, in the master bath in the mini warmer. And it was, it was throwing like crazy just with that one cube in each of those warmers. So yeah, I still have most of that bar left, but yeah, I, there was really well and it lasted pretty much two days on this one. Really good. Love that one. And, and I would get it again and I recommend it. Then we have St. Knickerdoodle here. This is Baked apples, spices, powdered sugar. So this is really good. It's definitely like apples and like cookies. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a mixture of like apple pie and like cookies to me because you get the apples in there, definitely get apples, but to get those spices, kind of like, you know, apple pie and it has the spices and everything. But then you do get like cookies. I get like a cookie note in here, uh, which powdered sugar is in, you know, can be in cookies and stuff. But yeah, it's not like necessarily like a pie, like pie crust. I get more like cookies. So it's got apple spices and then like cookies, like a snickerdoodle. It's like an apple pie snickerdoodle or something. 
yeah, it's, it's nice. I really like this scent a lot. So I melted this in the bedroom and actually, yeah, I tried it in the living room and the bedroom. Both places, it was good, but then it probably about like five or six hours, it kind of got lighter. But I found, I thought it was like a medium. And then it got a little bit lighter after five or six hours. I know a lot of people are loving this one. They're saying it's really good and really, really strong. I don't think it was super strong. You know, I could smell it really well, but I was like, okay, it's not super, super strong, but I, you know, I liked it really well and I could smell it. But then after about five or six hours, it kind of died down. I'm like, okay, I'm not really smelling it that much anymore. Kind of a thing, you know? I kind of wish it would have lasted a bit longer. But yeah, it is really good, I like it. I don't know if I love it as much as a lot of people are loving it that I've heard. Um, but I do really like it. It's really good. So that's St. Knickerdoodle. And then the last two, we'll go with Cozy Fireside next. And this is Warm Spice Notes, Zest, Zesty Ginger and Cinnamon. Oh, this is so good. This is good, cinnamon, spicy, kind of fireside, like it says fireside, cozy fireside. But it's like, you get the cinnamon, uh, the ginger. I get maybe a little bit of ginger. It's not a lot of ginger, but just like a little hint of ginger with that cinnamon. But, yeah, the, it says warm spice notes. So it's got some spice notes in there. Maybe, I mean, it's got cinnamon, it says, and ginger, which is spices. But I can maybe get some cloves in here, too. Cloves, cinnamon, some ginger, um, those warm kind of spices. But I get, I, you do get like a kind of a, a fireside note. Not super smoky though, but it's just like warm, like fire. Just a little smoky, but like, it's just like fire, fireside. It's just not like, um, around the campfire has more of a smoky note. I don't think it's smoky like that, but it does have like a smoky quality, like a, oh, maybe not exactly fireside embers either, but it's just got a tad bit of a smokiness to it. But, and then that spicy cinnamon, a little bit of ginger. Very warm scent, really good. Did really well, threw really well. I had it in my open concept. And then I put another two cubes in my mini warmer in the master bath, did really well. Lasted well into probably the third day. Um, did really well on the second day. Third day was a little bit lighter, but it did linger t to the end of the day. So yeah, I really liked that one. That was nice. And I would repurchase it and I would recommend it. Then lastly, we have my favorite. Clove and cinnamon. So this is in the current catalog as well right now, but I've never tried it. I was actually gonna order it next month. Well, yeah, in November, when I order the rest of my winter scents out of the catalog that I haven't tried. Since I'm fairly new to Scentsy, there's lots of scents I haven't tried yet. But now I have it in this collection, so I got to try it with this collection and I love it. I absolutely love the scent so much. So it's cinnamon sticks and cloves, that's all it is. And that's exactly what it is. If you love cinnamon cloves, I think you'd love this. It's, but it's done right. Some I've had some other clove and cinnamon scents in the past that have been like sometimes a little bit too much. They're like they're way too strong, or um, I don't know, or like the cinnamon's just not quite done right. But I, this is blended so well. I love the mixture of the cloves and then the cinnamon. It's not like a really red hot cinnamon, but it's not like a super like bakery cinnamon necessarily it's kind of a little cross between the two of those but then that clothes is in there to, to like just mellow out that cinnamon but, but it's still there and strong at the same time god i just love this one so much and this was an amazing performer it was so so strong but yet not too much if that makes sense i, I mean strong and i totally smell it but it wasn't like oh my god i'm getting a headache strong because sometimes cinnamon scents can be that way. Like, it's so strong, I gotta put it out, it's giving me a headache. I don't feel like it was that way. But it was, but it was strong though. And I loved it. This thing lasted for three full days. The Cozy Fireside was good for two days, but on the third day it was pretty light, but it, it still lingered on the third day. This one, first, second, third, and still was even strong on the third day. I'd probably say, it started finally lighting up towards the end of the third day. I think it probably into the fourth day, maybe. It was pretty much gone by the fourth day, but it did really well even on the third day. It was a lot stronger on the third day than the Cozy Fireside was. So it outperformed Cozy Fire just a little bit, but these both were really good. I had 
these going in multiple rooms and they went really well together. And I actually had um, Cozy Fireside I had going and then I had Sugar Cookie going in the kitchen. I had this in the living room. That actually went really well with this Cozy Fireside and Sugar Cookie. It, it mixed really well together. So try that if you haven't. Cozy Fireside and then uh, Sugar Cookie in alternating warmers was really nice. But yeah, on the clove and cinnamon though, I just loved it. I have to get more of this, I love it. I would love to have this in a brick, but I don't think they make it in a brick, but I wish they would, because I'd love it. I'm gonna have to get some multiple bars in to last me through the holiday. This is good even after winter, or after Christmas, for the rest of the winter. Oh, so warm and inviting, and I love it, I love it, love it. So out of the, let's see, out of, did I say my favorites on the holiday collection? Or the holiday trio was the Swirling Snowflakes was first, and then, um, Gosh, probably maple vanilla glaze and then cranberry orange cider, but they're all really good. With these scents of the season, I think my favorite is clove and cinnamon. I just absolutely love that. And then I'd probably say cozy fireside, then blue Christmas, and then Saint Nickerdoodle. I really liked it, but I thought it was just a little bit lighter. I kind of wish it was a little bit stronger than what it was, but it's still really good. So yeah. I would recommend both these collections. They're both really good, and I think I'm gonna have to give me some more of each each of these. I get one more set of each of these collections because they were both so good. So I can't recommend these well enough. They Sensi did a really good job with both these collections. They were so good. I can't recommend them enough. So I was totally pleased with all of them. All right. So that's my warm reviews for the Holiday Trio from the Holiday Collection and the Sense of the Season. Oh. Forgot to mention about the uh, sense of the season. The sense of the season here, they are available on uh, November 1st, like I said, and you can either get, you can buy them separately for $6 each, or you can do the bundle of all four for $20. So that makes, that will make them $5. If you get the bundle of four, it'll be $5 each, or you can buy them separately for $6 each. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to y'all in our next video. Bye.